While many newly introduced comic book characters have been lucky enough to be immediately welcomed by fans, this hasn't been the case for every character. Indeed, there have been many other characters who've had the very opposite reaction from the good comic book fanbase. Regardless of their initial undesirability though, some of these characters have been able to manage a comeback later on in life. An accomplishment in no small part due to the efforts of creatives, who sometimes revive and revitalize these characters so well that they end up on screen. Where of course they find themselves beloved by a whole different type of fans. With that in mind, I'm Will for What Culture, and here are 10 hated comic book characters who became fan favorites. 10. Guy Gardner Guy may be everyone's favorite wisecracking Green Lantern now, but before all of that, he wasn't nearly as popular as, say, Hal Jordan. When Guy first appeared in 1968, he wasn't even introduced as an active character. He was instead presented in terms of an alternate reality where he was chosen to be Earth's Green Lantern instead of Hal Jordan. Despite kicking around for a while, Guy wasn't very interesting until the 1980s, when Steve Englehart began to solidify his personality. Following Englehart, DC would continue the trend further by balancing out Guy's hot-headedness with a wise guy demeanor, which began during his time in the 1987 Justice League International title. Going forward, Guy's popularity would continue to rise and lead to him becoming one of the most well-known Green Lanterns from the DC Universe. 9. Ben Riley. Before there ever was a Spider-Verse, the only Spider-Man that ever existed was Peter Parker, who had gained an incredible following since his initial debut in 1962. Even still, though, Spider-Man wasn't unaffected by the constant trend of comic book reboots and retcons. Indeed, one of the first major changes that the wall crawler faced happened in 1994, when Ben Riley replaced Peter Parker as the friendly neighborhood hero. What was most shocking to readers, though, wasn't Ben replacing Peter, rather it was the additional revelation that Peter was really the Spider-Man clone all along, not Ben Riley. This then implied that the Spidey everyone knew and loved was actually a fake, a sentiment which did not sit well with fans at all, and the ire all fell upon Ben Riley's shoulders. Fortunately though, Ben would get a revival in 2016, which saw him undergo a compelling journey of self-discovery that fans would come to appreciate. 8. The Riddler Seeing as the Riddler is one of the oldest Batman villains around, it would only seem appropriate that he encountered changes to his character, the kind of changes that have led to a constant fluctuation in his popularity throughout his years of publication. Most notably though, it's been Riddler's on-screen representation that damn near killed his character's reputation, causing in turn a near permanent impression of him not as a criminal mastermind, but as a tight swearing buffoon. For this reason alone, many have previously dismissed Riddler as one of the more inferior villains of Batman's Rogues Gallery. However, the comics themselves beg to differ, with stories like The War of Jokes and Riddles, where Riddler is conveyed as a calculating and cold-hearted villain. Thankfully, these days, the Riddler gets the respect he deserves, often being the Moriarty to Batman's Sherlock Holmes. 7. Squirrel Girl Today, she might be a beloved Marvel character with admirable traits, but back in 1991, when she was first created, Squirrel Girl was hardly a fan favorite. Doreen Green, otherwise known as Squirrel Girl, was perceived by both those in and out of the Marvel Universe as a joke. She was treated as a starry-eyed kid by her peers, and it didn't help that her alias was also played for laughs. Fortunately for Doreen, a resume of kicking ass and further representation with her 2015 solo series has earned her a rapidly growing readership that has come to appreciate her for the powerful hero that she always was. 6. Aquaman Despite starting out in comics alongside the likes of Wonder Woman, Aquaman has fared much worse popularity-wise than his Justice League counterparts. Namely, it's been the perception of him over the years as a joke, which led many fans to turn their noses at him. Yes, cinematic and televised portrayals of Aquaman really damaged the character, as joke after joke at his expense sank him further and further into the depths of unpopularity. Fortunately though, the tide does begin to shift in his favor come the New 52, where the challenges he faces as a man torn between two worlds are explored. Perhaps the most apparent sign that Aquaman's popularity was bound to reach new heights, though, was Jason Momoa's stellar performance as the Atlantean King. 5. Damian Wayne Upon meeting Damien for the first time in Batman and Son, it's difficult not to dislike him. After severely injuring Tim Drake, the current Robin, Damien then steals his uniform, dons it, and proceeds to gallivant around Gotham killing villains. Clearly, this self-entitled brat of a boy wonder was gonna rub people the wrong way. 
Thankfully, this was just the beginning of Damien's arc, as he would see real development following Final Crisis as the Robin to Dick Grayson's Batman, with Bruce Wayne having passed away. During this period of time, Damien's tough exterior was slowly chipped away to reveal the human interior that lay underneath. Fans have loved him ever since. 4. Booster Gold Given his reputation in the DC Universe for being a self-aggrandizing, money-forward hero, it's hardly surprising that readers didn't warm to Booster Gold. The guy was intentionally written as a fame-hogging thief and general all-round jerk, after all. Booster Gold didn't improve much popularity-wise until entering his The Hero You Never Heard Of period. This is where Booster begins to resonate as a multi-layered character that's misunderstood in his community, yet beloved by fans who know him to be a hero despite his public image. Also, a terrific spotlight episode in the JLU did not hurt at all, either. 3. Kite Man Like some other rogues in Batman's gallery, Kite Man was undeniably created with humour in mind. With that said, Kite Man has nevertheless experienced a bit of a renaissance in the past couple of years, after writer Tom King put a new spin on him. Many years prior to that, Kite Man remained squarely in Condiment King or Crazy Quilt territory, following his second appearance in the 1986 Hawkman issue. Come 2016, and Kite Man would be rebooted as a character with substance and even a catchphrase that read, Kite Man, hell yeah! This was when War of Jokes and Riddles gave him not only a compelling backstory, but a chance at duping both Riddler and the Joker. Since then, the character's popularity has only grown further, with audiences warming to his character in the animated Harley Quinn series. 2. Jason Todd Many might assume at a first glance that Jason Todd was always destined to return as the Red Hood. Back in 1983, though, this wasn't at all the case, since Jason was supposed to remain permanently dead following the 1988 A Death in the Family story arc. Fans literally disliked Jason so much, they voted to have him killed. Ouch. Nevertheless, Jason would be figuratively and literally reanimated in 2005, a return that would see Jason finally become a fan favourite. Sure, he might be a little edgy, but he's a well-loved and respected member of the Bat family. 1. Deadpool Considering the Marvel film franchise's current obsession with Deadpool, it's kind of ironic that he didn't start out nearly as popular as he is right now. He was originally introduced in 1991, a time when stoic machismo was all the rage, while wise guy humour was less so. As such, he was quite the different character to the Merc we now know and love. However, with writers like Joe Kelly and Daniel Way coming along with their twist on the character, Deadpool's personality and character most of us love today was firmly established. Throw in two excellent blockbuster movies and, yeah, Deadpool is a rags to riches story for the ages. And there you have it folks, 10 hated comic book characters who became fan favourites. Feel free to drop this video a like if you enjoyed it, and drop me a follow on Twitter at YouSlideDogU. I'm Will for What Culture, thanks for hanging out, and I'll see you next time.